so you want to go to your phone and then create a new email account and i'm going to show you how to do that very quickly now if this is your first time you want to use a generative fill this is where you start so locate your gmail click on it and then at your top right corner you're going to find your icon over there click over there click on add another account and then click on my personal use and then fill in the details there everything fill it and then once you are done just choose the account you want to put in your password and then guys that is it that is it now you want to also skip it scroll down and then click on i agree and then let's wait for it to you know, give us the next screen now it's telling us it's an error but that's not a click on next it's already done for us it's loading now but once it's done we are going to have these options okay close it again we want to come up there and then come and verify if our account is created click on the top right icon there scroll down and you realize that your account is also added over there and that is it your account is created for you i want you to watch this video to the end so that you know the entire process even before you begin you also need to download the avast antivirus now we are not going to use the antivirus we are, we are definitely not going to use the antivirus the reason why we want to use avast is because they provide us with a very good browser their browser and their um, security system is so top-notch and so i like to use that one as well and i've stopped using chrome and i would advise you to do the same thing because each and every single time i update my adobe photoshop or any of the suit i do not get problems and i just want to show you how to do it as well so you can see it's this um you just click on it and then you see it even comes with its own everything just click on download and then once you are down downloading it install it and then that is it so now you have deleted your old email account that you don't want you have also downloaded the avast as well and you have installed it this is the browser now now let's go open photoshop this trial ended by now so one i want you to sign up sorry sign out from um creative cloud come to photoshop and sign out as well now if you do not do it right you are going to be caught they will find out that you are the one doing it and so you have to use the exact process that i am using because once you have found out the email account you created is bogus it will not work sign out we are signing out this adobe site does not match your location uh, whatever we are signing out so sign out good close it and then close it we've signed out and then let's go to cc here as well let's sign out if it doesn't give you the opportunity to sign out come to update and then once you come to update come there again you will see sign out sign out as well continue sign out okay now don't fall for this create over here just leave everything like this and then i want you to now um go to your browser i want you to click on history and then i want you to go to privacy cleaner then i want you to go here to all time and clear everything clear everything when you're done close it now open it again you see that's the reason why i love avast avast gives you a very good protection now you can click on this one you can see it's ticked here it's ticked here it's ticked here and it's also ticked here these are protect these are protecting you okay now let's go to private mode we are going to be using this private mode all right that is what we are going to be using we are going to type adobe creative cloud all apps and then so this is what we are going to be using but before we do that we need to sign in here and yeah let's sign in here that way we are not really going to be struggling signing in and out so at this point the email account are created and click on next okay so we are signed in now we can click on creative cloud and then let's go to sign in now even though you have an email account 
Adobe doesn't really recognize you. So you want to create an account in Adobe. 